Years ago, I had a 35 millimeter camera that I bought, oh, 20 years ago. A Yashica FX3 2000. Fully SLR. The only thing electric about it was the flash and the batteries that you could buy, well, that you should buy for an LED readout that um, tells you whether or not you're overexposed or underexposed. And I had a zoom lens and a 50 millimeter lens and I was taking 35 millimeter shots, 400 speed, and uh, getting them processed into hard photographs. Now we've entered this digital age where everything, you know, you put it on a card, you stick the card in your computer, put, them, put your pictures online or in face, or Facebook or Photo Bucket or wherever you want. And uh, that's okay. That's a wonderful way to share photographs and everything. But the wife was saying she missed having hard copies of photographs. And of course, when you send your pictures to places like Photo Bucket, stuff like that, the files get compressed and they don't reproduce as well. So I did a little homework and I found out you can still buy 35 millimeter film. There are still places online where you can store your files electronically and uh, places that will not only store them electronically but also reproduce them for you in hard copy form if you send them the rolls in. And I remember doing that with another place once too. Anyway, this one was called snapfish.com, I think. So I knew the batteries were shot in the camera and I knew I had to replace those but I knew my local Walgreens still sold Fujifilm 35 millimeter so I'm excited about getting back into using my fully SLR camera I took some pretty good pictures that camera does pretty well um, and I've had the fortune of having some really nice shots come out from that camera so I thought I would take a moment and just look at the different pieces of equipment that are part of this package. Okay, first of all, as you can see, I've got the two batteries here that came out of the camera. I'm sure I can find replacements for those. That's not a big deal. Here's the um, flash that I had for the camera. A CS220. Um, works fine at least it always did and uh, I keep that in the case so that's available to me let's see what else well then there's this zoom this says uh, let's see 75 to 200 millimeter this thing has worked really well for me of course uh, bayonet mount I have a cover on it right now to protect the mount itself and there's never been any issues with with this it works really well that cover I didn't lock it down sufficiently let's see here there we go all right so there's that then there is the camera itself it's got a 50 millimeter lens on there right now. Underneath here is where the batteries go in, and I had that out a little bit ago. Uh, I've got some other things like uh, there's a there's a, a uh, you know if you, if you want to get a really still shot because you don't want the camera to move around, um, and so you put it up on a tripod, and then after you put it in the tripod, uh, I put one of these things on here you, you it's a shutter a remote shutter right and the other end you screw into the camera uh, where you would normally take the picture and then take it with this because that way you're not jarring the camera when you take the shot that's been a neat little tool but um, most of my shots have been handheld and uh, some of them have come out pretty good over the years so I'm excited about this I'm gonna go ahead I, I've looked at this uh, functionally everything seems to be okay uh, nothing seems to be out of order so I'm excited about getting back into manual photography and uh, having hard copy shots uh, so that the wife can 
be excited about having hard copies. Of course, you know, of the boxes of photographs that we have, what have we done? Opened them every once every 10 years? <laughs> but uh, it'll be interesting to get back into the medium, and I'm thrilled that 35 millimeter film is still available and that there's places that will still process it.